stand with me and let us go into the word of God together. Joshua, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse number one. Amen. Some of y'all don't think I can do it, do you? Amen. Joshua 6, beginning with verse number 1. Praise the Lord. It says, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. There shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumps, uh, trumpets of ram's horn. And the seventh day you shall come past the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend upon every man straight before him. Amen. We give God glory for his most dying, holy and divine word. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing King, Jesus Christ. Amen. And today we want to use for a, short, for a topic for a few minutes. Look at somebody and say, shout. And watch the walls fall. Say, say, say it again. Say, shout. And watch the walls fall. Praise the Lord. We're going to have to get back to shouting. Come on, somebody. I remember growing up in the church, man, and I mean, every Sunday, somebody finna get their shout on. But it seems like now we're too sophisticated, though. I don't know what it is, mother, but we, we too cool now. We can't shout. Come on, somebody. Somebody get to shouting. Everybody looking at them like they done did something wrong. Like, what in the world is wrong with them? Come on, somebody. Elder Foreman break out and run around the church. Everybody follow him all the way around. Then they get back to a seat. <laughs> but we got to realize the revelation in the scripture that I just read, Mother, was that the walls didn't come down until they shouted. Until they shouted. Until they shouted. And we're going to have to learn how to shout even though things ain't going good. You hear me, man? Even though it don't look like you're going to be able to get through, you need to learn how to shout anyhow and believe that God is going to give you what he said he was. Now, the walls of Jericho represented something. It represented a hindrance from the blessing of God because God had already promised them that they would have the land. However, Jericho, the walls of Jericho stood in the way of them possessing the promises of God. So the walls had to come down, but if you do the history of the walls, the walls were uh, too thick for them to destroy on their own. So they needed God to do what they couldn't do. Now, I don't know about you, but I got some stuff I need done, Captain, that I can't do. Come on, somebody. I got some walls that I need to come down in my life. Are y'all with me? I got some hindrances that I need to come down that I can't do nothing with. So I need God to do that for me. And the Bible is given to us as an example, and if it worked then, it'll still work now. So when you see me shouting, that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. That just means that I'm believing God for something. Are y'all still with me? I'm believing God that if I keep shouting, the wall going to come down. Come on, somebody. Don't act like you ain't got no walls, because I can't even see some of y'all for the walls around you. There are some hindrances, there are some things in our lives that need to be destroyed. And I, I don't need, I don't mean, I don't need God to bust no hole in the wall. I need him to make the walls fall flat. Come on, somebody. I need him to completely destroy the walls from my life. Why? Not just for me, but for those coming after me. I need the walls to be destroyed for me and my family. Are y'all still with me? I need the walls to be destroyed not just for me, but also for you. Because here's something I want you to get a revelation of, and I'm almost done. Is that when God does a thing, it's done. 
You see, when we, when we try to destroy things, eventually the enemy builds them back up. But when God destroys a thing, it's destroyed. How do we know it's destroyed? Because if we keep reading the Bible, we get down to the gospel according to Luke, where it says that Jesus passed through Jericho. Some of y'all missed that. Y'all catch it later. And he says that he went through Jericho, and there was a man named Zacchaeus up in a tree. Are y'all still with me? And then he gave a parable of a man that was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among thieves. Y'all remember that one? Now, the reason the Jericho was still mentioned, but, but there was no mention of a wall, that means that the walls were still down. See, when God destroys a thing, it's destroyed. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that when God delivered me, are y'all still with me? The enemy couldn't build them walls back up, but are y'all still, still with me? Now, I don't know about you, but some of y'all ought to be putting your shouting shoes on. Don't act like you don't need God to do something. Some of you need to put your shouting shoes You need to take them heels off because you can't shout in them, sisters. I know you're looking good. They match your outfit just perfect. But you can't run and shout in them heels you got on. Come on, somebody. Brothers, if, brothers, if your shoe's too tight, take your shoes off. Because the command is about to come for us to shout so that the walls can come down. I need God to do it. I need him to do it. Because I, I need God to do it. I need him to do it. And the only way he's going to do it is if we obey him. See, the instructions were for them what? To be quiet. Are y'all still with me? See, there's a time to, to when we need to just be quiet and shut up. Joshua said, God told us, just be quiet. Don't say nothing. Just march around the walls. Are y'all still with me? Now, it take a whole lot for some of us to shut up. I know that was, come on, somebody, because some of you just be ready to say something. I mean, doggone. Sometimes you just got to be quiet. Sometimes you don't even need to speak about the thing. You don't even speak about the, what you're going through. Are you still with me? There's a time when you don't even need to tell nobody. Just be quiet. God didn't tell you to say nothing. He didn't tell you to go to nobody. Sometimes you ain't even supposed to go to nobody and ask for prayer. Don't say nothing. Just be quiet. God said, I'll tell you when to shout. And when I tell you when to shout, if you shout, then I'm going to do everything else. They march around the city six times, and on the seventh day, march around seven times. And when the command comes out, then he says, Shout. <laughs> if we could just ever get a revelation of knowing when to shout and how to shout, we'll see God do some amazing things in our life. Come on, somebody. Huh? And, 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 and don't be just thinking the command is just going to come on Sunday. No, God, my, you might be in the kitchen washing dishes and the, and, the, and the spirit say, shout, get the dancing. Forget about them dishes. Come on, somebody. Get your shout on because God's trying to bring something down. You're in the car. Come on, somebody. Pull over on the side of the road. Get your shout on. Uh, to, to destroy some things. Don't be ashamed to shout. Look at your neighbor and say, don't be ashamed to shout. Don't be ashamed to shout. Don't be ashamed to shout. Hebrews 11, verse number 30, and I'm closing. It says, Hebrews 11, verse number It says, by faith, the walls of Jericho 
fell down. Are y'all still with me? After they were compassed about seven days. Are y'all with me? By faith. Why? They believe what God said. God said, if you do this, the way I said do it, he said the wall's going to fall flat. I'm talking about some impossible stuff. And are y'all with me? What happened in your life is you just believe God and obey God. And it might not make any sense. Are y'all still with me? But if it makes sense, it's not faith sometimes. If it's logical, if you can put it together, you don't need to believe because you can see how it will work. But faith is something you got to believe in. It don't look, that don't make no kind of sense. That's what you need faith. So the scripture said, by faith, the walls of Jericho fail. If you don't believe God, nothing can happen in your life. We got to quit believing that we need money. We don't need money. We need God. Are y'all with me? That's who we need. We need God to do some things that we can't do. And if you don't know how to shout, watch Elder Foreman every now and then. He'll show you how to. He'll show how to shout. Come on, somebody. Are y'all still with me? If you don't forget how to shout, think back on Big Mama and them and Grandma and them, how they used to holler out and fall all up under the benches. And come on, somebody. Ushers had to come and fan system. Come on. We got to get back to show. We come on, somebody, somebody. I'm going to shout it out. I'm going to shout it out. I'm going to shout it out. I ain't going to get upset no more. I'm just going to shout it out. Come on, listen to me. I ain't going to fuss with you no more when you see me shouting. It's to keep me from cussing sometimes. I'm just going to shout it out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The song says, the song says, don't wait till the battle is over. Come on, somebody, some of y'all, some of y'all, somebody know that song. It said, don't wait till the battle is over. Go and shout now. It takes faith to shout now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for the power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we thank you that your word is still true and your word still works for us today. If we'll just believe and obey, that we too can see the walls fall down flat in our lives. Every situation and circumstance, Lord, that we have no control over, that we've been praying over, Lord, if you would just begin to speak to us in the Holy Spirit in that sweet, soft voice of yours and let us know when we should shout about it. Whether we're on our jobs or wherever we are, Lord, let us be able to shout and watch the walls fall flat in our lives. We thank you for delivering power. We thank you for the anointing that is still destroying the yokes, that's still destroying the barriers, the hindrances that's keeping us from the promises of God. So, Lord, we give you glory and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Now, come out of somebody shout with me say hallelujah. Come on, shout with me say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Church home, we give you an opportunity to come and unite with the Kingdom Connections Church. Amen. Praise the Lord. We all need a place that we can serve. We all need a covering. We all need a pastor. We need brothers and sisters that we can love on and can love on us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Or maybe you're here and you're saying, Pastor, well, I received the word today. And I do have some walls in my life. And, and, and if you would, just pray with me or pray for me concerning some things that I'm dealing with and I'm going through. Or maybe you want to come in and stand uh, in the gap for someone else, someone of your family or your friends, and say, Lord, they didn't hear this word, Lord, but I want to stand in the gap for them to help them to be able to deal with the walls in their lives. We give you that opportunity, amen, to come in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Jesus, whosoever will, let them come. Hallelujah. 
Whosoever will, he said, let them come. Let it be according to the word, according to your will. Let it be in our life. That's what we're saying. When we come to the altar, when we come, we're saying, God, I believe. That's what we're saying first. We're saying, I believe. And God, I'm coming to you because I need you to do what I can't do. It's available to you today. Hallelujah. There's more of you out there. You know you're dealing with things. Come on, somebody. And you need these things to be destroyed. Yeah. To fall flat, says the Lord. And the word still works, but it only works if you work it. You got to step out on your faith sometimes. By faith, the walls came down because they believed. It was not the power in their shout so much as that they believed God. If they just did what God said, then it would happen. It's available to you. Can make it. God is still all powerful. He's still Jesus. knowing. Hallelujah. And he still be able to be everywhere at the same time. So he's God, here. You. And you're in his presence. Sometimes it's so hard because. But to let your request be made known unto the Lord. Tells me not to believe. Hallelujah. Father, we come now in the name of Jesus. Let's lift our hands to the Lord. Come on, let's lift our hands up to the Lord. Father, we come today. We come surrendering to you. And Father, we know that your word is true. And God, we thank you that you're not a man that you would not. Years ago. You said that we would come. That you would hear. And not only would you hear, but you would answer. It's the thoughts in my mind. So Lord, we come now in a season for these that have come. We don't know why they came. We don't even know who they are. Some of them are in a season for. But God, we know that you know all things. will make it. We pray that you would dispatch angels. God, but I trust you. Warring angels. To come and fight on their behalf. Guardian angels to protect them from their Sometimes adversaries. Sometimes the pain in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Whatever is so concerning them, Lord, we pray that you would Can I get a witness, somebody? But God, I trust you. Move on the hearts of those that are on their hearts. Begin to move and touch them, even where they are. Some of them are asleep, but wake them up now in the Holy Ghost. And begin to minister to them because... Every you've had to cry. Right now, Father, we thank you that the walls that we have allowed the enemy to build up, that they are being destroyed even now as we speak. Listen, somebody's going through something right now. Up there, the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out. And in you. He says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation. Today in the name I of wish Jesus. somebody would make the devil and alive, alive right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will trust so. you. I don't know how you're going to do Jesus it. Name. I don't know when you're going to show up. Come on, somebody shout God, with me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, come on. Praise the Lord. If you can't praise the Lord for somebody else, come on. Praise the Lord for them. If you can't shout for you, shout for somebody else. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to 